Hello, today we have writing lesson on the topic pregnant pronouns and common classes. And today we learn where, when, and how to make pregnancy or when to put commas and using them. Let's start our lesson. So, before the beginning, what is a sentence? We should know about this. A sentence is a group of words expressing a complete thought and it consists of subject and the predicate. A subject tells whom or what the sentence is about. A predicate tells what the subject does or did. For example, my classmates feel tired today. Here, as you see, my classmates is a subject of this sentence, while feel tired today is a predicate. Working full time while going to school is difficult. Working full time while going to school is subject of this sentence and is difficult is a predicate of this subject. What's pregnant? Pregnant look like a sentence, but are missing a subject or a verb, or they are put together incorrectly. A group of words, as we mentioned above, doesn't express a complete thought because it's usually missing a subject or a predicate. For example, the prompt available in Kobe courses disposable lighter in his hand. In these two samples, we don't have verb. The verb is missed here and cared for his younger siblings, told everyone to get out of the way. In this fragment, we don't have subject. So a fragment is a standalone subordinate clause. It begins with the subordinate adverbs whenever, because, since, until, also, even if, and etc. For example, because I said so, as soon as we finish the test, whenever you're ready, since you have already made your mind up, all of them are samples for fragments. Fragments may be used with the prepositional phrases or with the help of possible phrases. For example, by a stroke of luck, in addition to being a dinosaur wrangler <laughs> and possible phrases. A woman working in the computer science field. Working is a part full phrase here. So, fixing sentence fragments. We may attach the fragments into a nearby sentence or we, we may pull the fragment into nearby sentence. For example, on that morning, I sat in my usual spot on the old wooden chair in the corner of my grandmother's kitchen. Here we have separate sentence and now we are going to connect them with the help of preposition. On that morning, I sat in my usual spot on the old wooden chair in the corner of my gardener's kitchen. And in the next sentence, we have the same sample. Normally the bright price consists of a kettle and cheap because money has little value to these isolated people. And we'll see in these samples we are using because without full stop here. Yes? So, normally the bright price consists of cattle and sheep because money has little mm -hmm. value to these isolated people. 
So uh, turn the fragment into a sentence. We have here fragment which begins with and, but we are doing them a uh, sentence with the beginning pronoun. We are putting subject here. The pilots ejected from the burning plane landing in the water not far from the ship. They immediately pop their flares and life vest. So we have also another sample which begins with so that, but we are putting in preposition here in order to turn fragment into a sentence. The population increases and uncontrolled development are taking a deadly toll on the environment. In many parts of the world, fragile mm -hmm. ecosystems are collapsing. So let's learn what is run on. Fusing two sentences into one without any conjunction and punctuation mark is called random. For example, gestures are means of communication for everyone. They are essential for the hearing inquiries. Connecting two or more independent sentences by a comma without coordinating conjunction and but or is called random. So, <clears throat> we are connecting, combining two sentences with the help of comma gestures as a means of communication for everyone. Uh, they are essential for uh, the hearing impairment. So, runoffs occur when clauses are joined incorrectly. Here we can see runoff. The fuel burned too quickly before he could, could throw it. The explosive blew up between his legs. And we have comma splice. He didn't throw the firecracker. He placed it between his legs. He wanted to put the lighter away first. Comma splices out in the world. There are several advertisements and some part of the cartoons which is in which we use commas. For example, in fire emergency, don't use elevator. Use exit stairs. Or here we can see don't lock bikes against three cards. Bikes will be removed. Here we can see comma. So uh, for there are several types for run-on sentence. The first one is using comma plus a coordinating conjunction and what or no suggest. Gestures are means of communication for everyone, but before what we have to know, but they are essential for the hearing impairment. So, to correct runoffs, we have several ways. One of them is join the clauses with a comma and the coordinate conjunction, as you mentioned above. We have another sample. He wanted to put his letter away first. So Fred placed the firecracker between his legs and he didn't throw it right away. Bill joins the clauses with a subordinating conjunction because also even simple because the fuse burned too quickly, he could throw it. And To make the clouds into separate sentence is also one of the ways of correct runoffs. Fred, Fred fell down screaming when the smoke cleared. We all expected to see a bloody 
mass. Uh, we have the uh, Ramon and we are correcting them into dividing several parts, separate sentences. Fred fell down screaming, the small clarity. We all expected to see a bloody mess. Okay, you have an exercise, correct the following sentence. The first sentence is Fred managed to make it home and change his clothes. He told his parents he fell off his bicycle. He avoided punishment for playing with explosives. And then another, another sentence to correct is took a trip home last summer. I ran into Fred after my long absence. He is unable to have children. Don't ask if he still plays with Purpose. So we have correct sentence here for Fred manager to, uh, to make it home. Uh, we are dividing the sentence into separate parts with the help of full stop, and we are using here comma. Or we can see here we have several separate sentences. One is here and the second one is here and the third begins with he avoid punishment for playing with explosives. Thank you for your attention. Today we have finished our writing lesson.